Hello everyone. Uh, today I will cover the first uh, lab for Solid Edge. Uh, in this lab, we will learn more about uh, sketches, and this is very basic and very important for you to learn because this is will give you the skill, the skills needed to do uh, solid modeling sketches, and uh, mainly we will cover these uh, number of sketches. So this way you will have the, the, all the, do, the tools that needed to do a solid modeling. Without further ado, let's move forward and start Solid Edge. So if you open Solid Edge, you create, click on New, New. And since the dimensions we're going to cover today are in millimeters, so you have two choices, either inch, metric, or some other standard. So I'm going to use just the millimeter standard. So I'm going to say ANSI. Uh, metric the part the last uh, one to the right okay say okay so now <clears throat> since we have solid edge open solid edge you know that in, in solid edge in, 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 in the drawings you have front view side view and top view these are the basic thing and you can see that from the right uh, lower corner so I'm gonna concentrate all the drawing on the front view later you will learn which which view should be used so now we are in the front view the corner the axis is, is irrelevant for for this case so i'm gonna just get rid of it so i'm gonna say click on the base here so highlight it so now we are done now let's start just a very basic thing i'm gonna see some relationship between lines so i suppose i draw a line here and another line here there and another line there and a third line here and another line here Oh, okay, sorry. It's okay. So now, say I want to say that I need to make this line uh, horizontal or vertical, okay? So now you go to this horizontal vertical relationship. So you click on this one and this one. So automatically, you make this one horizontal and make the other one vertical. Now, another issue is uh, can I make it parallel, okay? So I'm going to use the relationship parallel to make this line parallel to this line so now it becomes parallel now this is uh, 90 now can I increase I can use the smart dimension to change the dimension here say I want to make it like 80 so I can put 80 enter okay so now it fits so now that I've changed the relationship now let's move forward I'm going to use the pen so I can move this one to the side I'm going to start the first sketch the first sketch is like a step say uh, 45 vertical 60 horizontal and you have three steps 20 20 20 15 15 15 the easiest and the best way is just to start the line dimensions accurate just to go horizontal i move horizontal how do you know if it is horizontal when you see next to the x for the mouse a horizontal sample means it is horizontal so all what i need just i need to make now the dimension is correct to so put 60 you put 60 here and enter so automatically it's enter again so this way you are in the horizontal line now you can go vertical how do you know it is vertical you can see the symbol next to the x is vertical simple so i can click and this is, should be 45 so i'm going to put 45 enter okay now since it is looks small so what i can do i can see zoom area here i can zoom so now it becomes bigger okay now let's continue with the line get to the line back so i i want to touch the the tip of the line here so then i can go horizontal 20 enter and then enter and then horizontal 15 down 15 enter enter and then you go horizontal you see the symbol okay the horizontal symbol of type 20 and now this is the symbol for the vertical but suppose that i didn't do it uh, so i'm going to just draw it in any direction and like this for example here. and i'm going to connect here so how can i fix that i can say okay i need to make this horizontal vertical and this one horizontal and this vertical. oh my god okay now let's go to the smart dimension this should be the 45 i didn't type it 40 uh, 60 here so this is a change 
if you want to lock it you can you need to put the dimension 60 okay now I need to do the other dimensions so smart dimension this should be 20 good this should be 20 it's not so let's make it 20 20 enter and let automatically this should be 20 let's see the vertical one so this should be 15 good and then uh, this should be 15 let me see how much so it's 17 so you click and then make it 15 enter and then the last one should be 15 okay so we're done with this one now go to the pan and move it to the side the next drawing will be the triangle equilateral triangle with a circle in the center so let's see how we can do that either either you can just draw it as 100 and then 100 making 60 degrees and so on so i can do it this way or i can do it just regular just a rough one okay so both ways are correct okay so if i can go like save like this and this like that and there make it like the like this and then i can correct it using the relationship so okay i want to make it this uh, horizontal vector so he's going to take this one make this one horizontal he make it horizontal now i need to make the smart dimension make this one 100 so it's not so i'm going to make 100 enter okay oh, it seems like it's not connected then so suppose this is not connected so we can say okay i need to get the tip of this line and the tip of this line connected so automatically it will be connected okay now i need to make either the angle here 60 or make this line equal to this line i can use the equal relationship equal relationship and i need this line to be equal to the 100 so it make it y equal to the 100 what about this one okay i need this line to be equal to the 100 now so, so now okay use the, the the roller in the your mouse outside from you it's gonna reduce the size coming to you will be increase the size okay so so now i have the equilateral triangle and then inside i need to draw a circle by three point and the three point are in the middle of the line the middle of the line is if you click here you see here the point doesn't look like it is in the middle but here the point looks in the middle so it is in the middle then you go that this is in the middle and automatically this will be in the middle and if you measure if you use the smart dim or the, the dimension about angle between so the angle between here so between this line and this should be 60 degrees which is correct okay so another way of doing it is i can start with actual dimension i can say okay i need a line horizontal here i'm gonna draw it horizontal and equal to 100 so just from the beginning i do it right 100 and horizontal so i'm done and then i do another line here i can say okay it should be 100 and the angle should be 120 so it's going to be 100 enter and the angle 120 enter okay and then i connect the third one so automatically this will be that uh, we let that thing if you want to make sure go to smart dimension and see what it is so this 100 correct this 100 correct right click this 100 correct or correct. so now now if i want to draw the circle you do the same thing so now i'm going to move this one from the way and look at the third sketch the next sketch is i have a circle 80 uh, 80 millimeter bigger circle 80 millimeter and inside the smaller circle is 50 and a tangent line between the two circles and tangent line and then i have a shape and then i make equal similar shape but inside for eight millimeter so let's go to the 80 50 120 and move forward 
So I'm going to say, okay, I need a circle by center. And the dimension here is 80. I'm going to type 80. Enter. So the diameter is 80. So now if I go here at any location here and, and I click, automatically this is an 80 circle. Smart dimension will give me this one 80. Good. Okay. Now let's get the other circle. The other circle is, 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 is 40. 50s. So I'm going to type 50. Enter. And this, if you go inside the circle here, so you highlight it on the edge here. So this is, will create the center line, the X for the center line. When you go to the center line, you can see the circle means that you are in the center line. But now I don't want to draw anything inside. So what I need to do is just highlight so I can do put the other circle on the same center line, horizontal line. So I'm going to click here. Now, the distance between them, I can use the smart dimension, say that the distance between this one and this one, click on this one. So I'm going to tell you, okay, I need the distance here should be 120. So I'm going to say 120. Okay. So now I have, let's make sure also about the, the dimension here. So this is, should be 50. Good. Okay. So now I need to get the tangential line. So I'm going to go get a line. And to do the tangent line, just to choose any point here, and just to move with it, it's going to move with you, and you come here till you see that you are tangent and touching. It means that you see, you see, you need to see the two symbols, the tangent symbol, the one the far right, and then the next to the X uh, or the arrow is going to be they are touching the the circle. So you click. So now, right click to get out. So now we can see a circle with an X in it. It means the line are tangent. Suppose that you just connect a line here and here by mistake. You couldn't make it tangent. So how you fix that? Very simple. You're going to use the relationship. You see the relationship here? It's a tangent, line tangent to a circle. So we're going to say, okay, I'm going to click on this relationship, get this line, and make it tangent to this circle. So automatically it will make it tangent to the circle and automatically the other one become tangent too. If not, just you can move. Now I need to get rid of the extra uh, curves here. So I'm going to use trim. You see the trim here. And then I highlight this one to get rid of it. Highlight this one to get rid of it. So now we see that the dimensions are correct. And then I can also move this one how to move this one I can say okay I'm gonna move this one to the side or can make it okay 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 so now I need to get the shape so how can I get the inside shape was eight millimeter all around if you look carefully here you see this symbol here offset so click the offset highlight the shape and in the side here I need to offset how much 8 millimeters so I'm going to type 8 millimeter and and then you have two choice you're going to go, go up or bigger or smaller so it's smaller so I can click and now you draw the other one smaller the same shape inside for 8 millimeter so we're done with this one I'm going to use the pen and just move it to the right to the left so what's the next one is I need to do this thing the same thing I'm going to use the relationship and to do 20 40 20 and then you go up 10 uh, 40 10 and 20 and 10 here okay so now on the inside I'm going to draw a, 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 a square 30 by 30 square okay so let's go to solid edge and I'm going to start with the line. I'm going to go horizontal 20. Horizontal. Go home. Make sure you see the symbol. So I'm going to write 20. Enter. Then enter. Then I go up 10. I go 10. Then horizontal 40. Enter. And then 
back down when you see the dashed line it means that you are have you are in the same height so i'm gonna click because i'm in the same height then i'm gonna put 20. so and and then vertical you see the dashed line you're gonna then i go 10. when you see the center line here you're gonna see aligned with the dashed line here so it means that you are 10. click and then you go up 40. vertical 40. sorry and then you go outside when you see the dashed line means that I'm aligned with the same thing horizontal so I'm gonna click and then you go up 10 I'm gonna put 10 enter and then horizontal 20 when you see you are aligned with the, the 20 from the bottom you're gonna see the dashed line coming from this so you click and then you go down 10 you will be aligned with this one and then 40 you will be aligned with the with the bottom one you're gonna say enter so you don't need to type anything here you see the dashed line aligned you will be there and then 20 till you see the dashed line aligned align with this one okay so you see the dashed line now and it's horizontal and then you go down till you see the dashed line with this one And then I go 10 with the center line here. And then you go down till you attach with this one, align with this one, and then you go back and then you connect it. So now we have the shape. Let's make sure smart dimension. This should be 20, correct? This should be this should be 40. That is correct, and this should be 20. And this should be 10. And this should be 40. And this should be 10. Okay, what else? Okay, now I need the next step is to draw the square inside in the center line of the inside of the shape here actually to match inside so if, if you go to the solid, okay, solid edge so I'm going to say okay I need to go to the rectangle so I'm going to say rectangle by center and this rectangle has the width 30 I'm going to put 30 here enter and the other one at 30 and the height at 30 so and the angle is zero okay so that's good so now i want to so it has to be in the same center line here so to get the center line is the horizontal line aligned with the vertical with the mid the mid point from the bottom here should be with the midpoint here so now once you get it oh i click once i i, I identify the center i'm going to click on the center and then you got the dimension right click to get me out so when i put smart dimension to get this dimension and this is, should be the 30 and this should be the other 30. okay so now let's move forward so i'm going to move this one to the side and get the next dimension the next one okay now i need to draw this shape i have a circle 40 and a, a bigger circle 80 and i need to have a distance between the center of this circle to the center of this circle is 70 in the horizontal line and 60 in the vertical line so we're going to start with the main circle 80 and 40 and the inside inside circles should be 20 so let's go and do that okay so now i have a circle by center and this circle by center is equal to 80. so i'm going to type 80 as a diameter enter so I'm going to put the diameter 80 here. Okay. And then the other diameter is going to be 40. So I'm going to type 40. And. Okay. Somewhere here. Now I'm going to use the smart dimension. 
to make the, the the distance between this one and this circle here. I write this circle. Okay, so no, it should be horizontal vertical. So this dimension should be what? 70? Let me move this one to the side. So this should be 70. I'm going to type 70. And again, the smart dimension, the distance between this circle and this circle in the vertical direction should be what? Uh, 60. So I'm going to put 60. Enter. Okay, now the next step is to make the curve. If you look carefully here, I need to make a curve here, tangent to both circle with a radius 100 and the other one radius 25. Okay, so the way to do it is right now is just is go back here and just get a circle tangent. So I'm going to go to circle here, circle by cent circle tangent circle so i'm going to click on tangent circle and i am going to draw any circle just will be tangent to this one here and tangent to this one here it is okay and now let's say trim trim the circle i'm going to trim this side so now i have a curve here but this curve i'm going to use a smart dimension to click on this curve he gave me what 79 this is not the dimension i want i want the dimension equal to 100 so i'm going to go back here and correct this one to be 100 so i'm going to type 100 enter oops okay i know the mistake is we didn't assign this one so i'm going to go back here and before i do that i'm going to use the smart dimension to highlight this one and say this is 80 good and make this one 40 okay means that it's gonna stay as 80 and 40 now i can go back here i say select select this line and instead of uh, of 79 point i want to make it 100 100 and okay now it is correct so I got done. Now I need to do the same thing here. So I'm going to go to circle, tangent, circle. And it's going to be tangent to this circle and tangent to this circle. Now again, we're going to do a trim, the bottom part. And I need to smart dimension. The, circle, the radius here should be 25. So I'm going to click and modify this one to be 25. Okay, so now I created the correct curvature between them. Now the next step is just to make a circle inside 20 and a square inside 30 by 30. So let's go back here and do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go to circle by center and the dimension is 20, about 20, enter, and then you go first you highlight you go you, you 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 touch the the line so when you touch the line the x or the center of the circle will appear then you go to the center here when you see the circle you click so this automatically make the circle inside the other circle actually and did you move it together the same way okay now i need to do the other the square so i'm going to say rectangle by cent and i'm going to put the dimension 30 by 30 and and put another 30 and okay so now i need to highlight this one so now i see the x now i'll go there when i see the circle means i'm in the center i'm gonna click click so this way i got the dimension so now i found i got the right thing so now this is dimension this is the 30 i need and this the other 30 i need and for this one is the other 20 okay so now we're done with this shape so i'm going to move it to the side to start the next drawing what the next drawing is oh i need to draw <coughs> like a different different polygons like five polygons uh, quadri uh octahedral okay uh, uh, five sides six sides eight sides and so on okay 
So let's go back to the solid edge. When I click on the rectangle, so the last item here is called polygon by cent, polygon by cent. So I click on this one. Now it tell me what you want, uh, what size. So I'm gonna say, oh, I need five sides, okay. Uh, and so I'm gonna click here and I need it horizontal this way. Okay. Okay, but I need the dimension when I go to a smart dimension. I need this dimension, the circle dimension here should be 24. So I'm going to put 24. Good. Okay. Now I need to get the other poly polygon. Polygon. Okay, so now I need the six sides. Okay. And the six side is. Uh, Okay, it has uh, 25 millimeter to the side. So, okay, let's say, okay, but we need to get the center. So, I'm going to highlight the circle. Now, I see the X. So, I'll go back here. You see the circle here? It should be means that it is in the center. So, I'm going to go that and move it to see. I need it, okay, about 25, so I'm going to just come close. Okay, now I need to get the dimension. Let's see what the dimension is. So, smart dimension, I need this dimension to be 25, so I'm going to make it 25. And okay, now the center moved from the other center. Okay, so what are we going to do? It's easy to fix. I should fix it from the beginning, make it both of them, they are in the same center line, uh, same center, sharing the same center. Okay, but now how to do that? Okay, I'm going to go to smart dimension or X dimension, X, between this circle here. See, is a circle here, you click on this circle, and then click on the other circle. It show you that the center here, they are moved about 3.9 millimeters. So I'm going to make it zero. It should be zero because it should be matching. It happened they moved vertical, okay. But for the other one, it seems like they are correct, okay. So now it moved to zero, so both of them they are in the same center line now. Now I don't need to see this one, it's just, it's just I can delete it, okay. Now let's put the other polygon. So I'm gonna back here and get the, 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 the eight side polygon. So I'm gonna say, okay, highlight this curve here, this circle. So I can get the center. Now I click on the center here and make the the eight. And the dimension should be 26. So I need to get the dimension here, smart dimension. I need this side to be 26. Twenty six. Okay. And so I'm done. Now, if you wanna get rid, you wanna get rid of the circle. Just what you need to do is just you can highlight the circle and say delete. You wanna get rid of this if you want, and so on. Okay. If you don't need them, okay. But if you need them, you can keep them. Whatever, depending on the situation. So now this is the, I believe the, the circle should be left, okay, yes, okay. So we have the 25 of this, okay. Any other questions? Okay, so let's move forward to the last item in our uh, thing, which will be how to do this sketch, this sketch here. And this will somehow finish the, 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 the lab for today. So now here, I will concentrate mainly on the major dimension. So what I'm going to do is just, I have a major dimension. I'm going to say horizontal line 90. I'm going to go up 45 and go up from this side 35. I have a tangent circle of 20 and another tangent circle here 
25 okay so let's start by that okay so i'm going to say okay let's move this one to the side i'm going to have a line horizontal line and this horizontal line should be how much 90 i'm going to put 90 enter and then go up vertical 35 and out and then go go click the other side and go up 45 vertical 45 okay so now i get out right click to get out so now i need to get a circle but i need a tangent circle and the first tangent circle is 25 enter and it is tangent at the tip here from this side so i'm going to click here at the tip here and go and the click so now i have the circle now the other circle will be 20 so i'm going to put 20 and go to the tip and the other side here and go to, to this right not this side this side and put the 20. so now i'm done with the other circle now i need to have another circle how much 15 15 and 10 okay so i'm gonna put 15 and i'm gonna move on the circle here to touch it so now i can see the center the x so now i go to the center when you see the circle you click oops sorry come on okay forget about it okay now <laughs> i'm gonna move to the other one so let's okay now let's get the line it's going to be a, a tangent here to the center to the edge when you see the dashed line mean you are at the edge then i will go down vertical down how much 12 and a half so i'm going to put 12.5 enter and it's vertical and then I need a, a tangent circle is 20, okay? Right click to get out. So if you look at the drawing here, now I need a tangent circle 20, already a uh, diameter 20, okay? So let's go back here. I'm gonna say the circle, tangent circle, and this is 20. And so tangent from this edge here, I'm going to make it 20. And then from the edge here, and then from the edge here, the same edge, horizontal edge here, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Okay, there's, I'm going to try something out there okay anyway so now i want to get the delete this part here this half here let me zoom so i go to trim get rid of this one now for this area here if you look carefully here there is a curve tangent between this one and this one 2.5 radius so let's see what how we can get this so let me try to use this uh, the fillet i'm going to use a fillet you have a fillet or a chamfer so i'm going to use a fillet between this line and this circle here so we're going to give you a, a radius here and i need this radius how much is uh, 2.5 so i'm going to put type 2.5 2.5 and okay so now i need to trim this part here okay and i need to trim this part 
Now I need to have a circle inside here and a circle inside here. How much? So 15 inside here and 10 inside here. So let's go. I'm going to say circle by center. 15. Enter. You highlight this one so you see the center. So you go to the circle here. You click, you'll get it. And the other one is 10. So I'm going to change the number to be 10. Enter. And then you highlight this thing. You get to the center, the X. Then you, you click on the center. You are done. Okay, now let's see. The smart dimension will give me what diameter here, what radius here. And it's going to give me what the diameter here. And what is the dimension here? Okay, so I will do it later. And that the diameter here, 10. Or the diameter here is 10. What is the radius here? It's 2.5. What is the radius here? 10. What is the distance here? Okay. Okay, and now, now let's go to the bottom part. If you look at the drawing, you'll see like a curve here and another curve here or a radius here. So this radius is 7.5. The easiest way is to do it by the fillet. Okay, so I'm going to say fillet. Uh, the radius is 7. Point, I'm going to put 7.5. Enter. And then highlight this line and this line. So automatically it would make 7.5 and do the same thing for this line and this line okay so for smart dimension if you want to get this one here so it's going to be 7.5 and the other one 7.5 okay now let's uh, get the circle by center okay and the value of this circle is 7.5 7.5 Enter. When you highlight the, the, the radius here, you see the X. Then you go and you see the center, the circle. You click mean that you are in the right location. You do the same thing. I'm going to highlight, go on the, have a, uh, the, the, the radius or whatever. So now you get the X. Now you go there and you, you see the circle, you click. So now I'm done and I got the right thing. The, what's left now is, okay, let me get a smart dimension. Uh, no x dimension. I'm gonna get the x dimension from the side, this one, and to the bottom here. So this will be I can work 45 here, and then I can move the other one. So you see this circle here. I'm gonna let's move it away. okay let's do this here now the, re the what's left now i need to do this rectangle uh, 10 by 40 5 millimeter from the bottom so we're going to say it okay get me a rectangle by center and the dimension is the width is 40 the height is 10 and it's a horizontal okay okay now and it should be with the same center line here so I'm gonna go on the same center line here somewhere just roughly I'm gonna put it roughly here so now I have it right here. oops okay let's do it again in the center I'm gonna go just say roughly here oh okay it changed okay this would the width should be what 40 and the height is 10 and so i'm gonna go with the center go up and the click click now let's put the dimension this is my x dimension 
So the distance between this bottom and this bottom, this should be 5. So I'll make it 5. And this dimension. And this dimension should be 40. Good. And this dimension should be 10. I'm going to make it 10. Okay, okay, folks. That this is will do the last uh, sketch in, in for 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 the lab for today. And uh, really, I believe these are very powerful. And also, if you have some other sketches that you you feel like they are very useful for teaching solid edge, please email it to me, and we'll make another lab to add more sketches for you. And uh, I really appreciate uh, 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 your watching, uh, watching this video. So I would like to thank you for that. And I would not like to hear back from you. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, uh, click the bell, and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye-bye.